good day and welcome back to Hertfordshire Zoo. On today's episode we are building what I have called the wicker basket. Now let me start by telling you this took me hours and I've cut it down a lot. Reason being is because I couldn't get certain things to line up the way I wanted them to and it turned out to be fairly difficult. However, let's move on with the build. I started by placing a rod or a column in the middle and rotating plaster blocks around it to create a circle. As you can see, <laughs> um, after that I ended up taking some inspiration from, I think it was Plastic Swans, um, who built a really nice polar bear exhibit, uh, habitat recently, sorry doing a very similar technique to this so I can't take all the credit uh, but I think because I made some mistakes it ended up being a little bit different to what she's done and I quite like it um, what I should have done there is snap it to an angle instead I rotated it up and I think that ended up causing me some issues when it came to making things you uh, line up with that pronounced wall uh, and then I made a second one and it just basically went from there really I don't really know how else to explain it uh, I made another wall uh, so it's almost looking like the shape of a crown and then I added a fourth and fifth wall and I quite liked how it was looking so I decided to add some fencing after trying multiple different ways of trying to do this. I ended up adding some walls uh, to this build just by doing the same thing as I did with the plaster and rotating them round. This was not as bad as it looks on here. It was fairly meticulous because there's a few bits again that haven't quite lined up for me and I'm not too sure if it's something that I'm doing wrong or if it's something that maybe the game's just not very good at because I know there are certain things that it could be easier uh, instead we get left with uh, clicking things and doing things that don't quite work for us but anyway it took quite a while to get everything leveled the way that I wanted it um, in terms of like height and stuff like that so I had to adjust quite a bit of uh, the wood panels there and as you can see I do go around and add in a second level to it. Uh, the second level was what caused me the most grief of this build because I just could not get anything to line up. I tried glass, I tried plaster, I tried more fences, I, I, I tried everything that I could think of. In the end I settled on these uh, walls. As you can see, I've skipped through quite a bit because there is just so many decisions that I've made um, and I didn't think it was worth showing them. Then I made a slightly bigger fencing area and I, came, I started rotating it round and it got to about halfway round, as you can see there. And I was like, do you know what? I actually quite like this. It's kind of giving off like a fossil kind of look. And I thought, you know what? That's quite interesting. So I've done it back the other way as well, uh, just to fill in those gaps. I don't know what it would have looked like with the gaps, but I wanted a kind of like indoor experience type of thing. So I might try it without the gaps next time. Um, but anyway, I've done it back the other way uh, completely. Uh, as you can see, there is many, many rods in there or columns. And I was actually quite impressed as to how this looked. Like I know I probably shouldn't be because it is just moving a load of fencing around um, but I quite like it I think it's quite different it's almost like a porcupine itself um, but yeah something a bit different so uh, I went with it here I'm just deleting all of the fence panels so that they can access the door and I quite like the the border that it created then I put in some pathing which was a bit easier after moving it away um, so that I could uh, have a sort of guide uh, sorry moving it closer so I had a guide 
and then I added in the sign because I thought the front was a bit boring and lacked any personality or colour uh, because I was trying to get different stuff in but it wasn't having it so to add in some colour and some personality I've made this sort of sign that goes out the front to say where you're going added in some I think they're claws or bones anyway I'm going to place that out the front and I think that looks quite nice don't know what you think of it I, 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 I'm actually quite impressed with it to be to be completely honest because it's something new to me and it's something quite unexpected and that's why I was quite happy uh, here I'm just doing a shell for the fruit bat walkthrough exhibit and I placed it on it took a while again uh, and I've placed the name on and got rid of the plaster wall behind it uh, because that wasn't quite lining up the way I wanted it to either so I got rid of the plaster wall behind it and uh, added it on the other side as well so because they don't go in and out of one side they can go in both sides on this game so I get rid of that and on the other side as well and I quite like the sign you know it's okay it's not it's nothing amazing but this bit annoyed me because <laughs> I think I got it wrong. I thought I could have an exhibit cam in there and that would look at them whilst they're in there. However, it doesn't appear that you can do that. So I kept it as back cam and that's my education board for now. Uh, then I've added in the exhibits. Uh, there's six different animals in total. Uh, all of the African animals that can go into exhibits are currently in there. So you've got the puff adder, the horned adder I think uh, the goliath beetle the goliath frog and there's a couple of others I just can't think of what they are off the top of my head uh, as some decoration I added in a dig site just it, it was really random I accidentally placed some rocks down I thought oh that looks like a paw or a paw print or a bone so I thought you know what this could be a bit different and I added in a dig site then to finish it off I added the dome back on top of the area that I've just been building and finished off by putting some leaves and the such inside and some plants to make it not be so boring. There's the sign that you can see and now we'll go into the cinematic. Thanks for watching guys, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you again on the next build.